Now to a historic moment in Arizona politics as Katie Hobbs has officially taken over as the state's governor. Governor Hobbs was sworn in at a private ceremony this morning, becoming the 24th governor of Arizona. She'll be inaugurated in a public ceremony along with other top elected officials on Thursday. And ahead of that ceremony, we're taking a look at what the future holds for Hobbs' time as governor. Team 12's Bram Resnick is joining us in studio with a breakdown of what is next for the next few weeks and what they look like ahead. Bram? At Korea Bay, Governor Hobbs has been in the hot seat for less than a day, but she's already having a lot on her plate, a potential special session, a key job to fill, and a Republican legislature that will push back on the first Democratic governor in more than 10 years. Here are three things to watch. On day one, I will call a special session to repeal uh, the state's pre-row ban, the 1864 ban that criminalizes all abortion. Governor Katie Hobbs made that pledge shortly after winning the election in November. The 1864 abortion ban could be one agenda item for a special session of the legislature focused on achieving just a few goals. Also a possibility? lifting a spending cap on K-12 public schools. In two months, those schools won't be able to spend more than a billion dollars that the legislature gave them last year. The Democratic governor and Republican legislature could start the year with a show of bipartisanship by removing a dark cloud over our schools. Goodwill could be hard to find. This is the first time in 14 years we've seen divided government at the Capitol. The Democratic governor and Republican legislature have sharp differences over what they should do for citizens. Hobbs has two things going for her. Republicans have slim majorities, and the governor has the all-powerful veto pen. Hobbs can reject anything the legislature passes. What else is on the governor's short-term to-do list? Filling the toughest job in any administration prisons director. During the Ducey years, the state prison system was a persistent source of scandal. Doug Ducey's director is retiring on Wednesday. Hobbs will have to fill that job immediately. And just hours after being sworn in, Governor Hobbs issued her first executive order affirming the state's commitment to eliminate all barriers to hiring that aren't related to a person's ability to do the job. Mark Karibe. All right, two big issues, I think, for Governor Hobbs as she really gets into it. Uh, abortion and school spending. And, and the question is, will she, can she call a special session? Well, I just got an answer to the first one. Uh, I learned minutes ago from Governor Hobbs spokeswoman that there will not be a special session to repeal the near total ban on abortion dating to 1864. An appeals court ruling last Friday took care of that. The court said Arizona's new abortion ban after 15 weeks of pregnancy is the prevailing law, not the 1864 law. But will there be a special session to lift the school spending limit? One way or another, that has to be dealt with. If the limit isn't lifted, schools could be thrown into a financial crisis. Politically, Hobbs might have the upper hand by calling a special session to lift the spending cap because it would put a focus on how lawmakers vote on that one issue. Given the fact there are Republican majorities, that's one way to put the pressure on Republican lawmakers to vote the way she wants. Could really set the tone. It could set the tone right off the bat, could give her a victory or not right off the bat, but it would really test where Republicans are in this coming session. Yeah. And that's a big unknown right now. Right. All right, Bram, thanks. Sure thing.